hi guys and welcome once again after almost 10 months we are back again to continue our series a lot has changed with shopify drop shipping and if you haven't watched the previous videos on the channel please do a big welcome to everybody especially those that have joined us from tiktok today we are going to look at how to build your shopify website a few things that we need to consider though in building our website first of all we need to consider the products you're going to put on the website to sell we'll look at where to find them how to find products because not just every product is going to work or not just every product is ideal for selling two we are going to look at the design of the website itself how to keep things simple and straightforward and to keep your site fast and make it easy for people to shop third is apps that are going to be essential for your website in order to help you do well in your dropshipping journey the last is to focus on the settings in your shopify dashboard which we'll look at sorry the last by one and then the last is the payment processor which is either your pay stack or flutter wave in this instance i've already done a video on how to set up pay stack on the channel please do well to check it out okay so let's jump in just a quick recap if you haven't created a shopify account yet quickly create one by entering in your email and following the steps so i'll run through it with you i created an, an email address specifically for this so let's and then the name of your store and then click on create store my store is meant to be a store for um, home home product and home interior products so that's hence the name you usually want to pick a name that is very close to the goal you want to achieve or the products you want to sell on your store. So don't go picking random names that may not necessarily relate with your brand. So that will take a while to set up. Now over here, it's just a quick uh, question that Shopify asks you. Um, usually I prefer to go with I'm not selling yet. Current revenue, zero, just getting started. What industry mine is going to be in? Uh, let's see if there's any home furniture electronics. Uh, I'll just go with other for now, and then skip this. The sorry, don't check the last one. Click next, and then you fill in your details. So here you need to fill in your actual name and your actual details because this will be tied into you getting paid as you can see here so i'm going to quickly run through that filling and then go to the next step It will take a moment to set up and there you go so the first thing you want to do is to select a plan and add your credit card details so you want to go with the shopify basic plan i'll do other videos on alternatives that are cheaper but shopify is a 29 dollar a month uh, subscription but for the value they give you in terms of the platform and the apps and everything you'd eventually realize that it's a great offer or it's a great uh, option i'll do videos on other cheaper plans for those of you on a much tighter budget so don't worry about it i mean other cheaper alternatives so click on choose plan scroll down select monthly i'm gonna use PayPal with this one or should I add credit card okay I'll go with credit card and click start plan now the reason why you want to do this is th because if you don't do that you can't publish your website now the next thing you do is to verify the email address which you linked with your store 
all right so once you've done all of those things the next thing you want to do for the products in order for us to be able to import products is to go to apps and we are going to install two important apps we are going to click on explore apps and it's going to open the shopify app store for us now we want to install two apps before in the previous video we set up obello but this time around we want to add two apps cj we look for cj drop shipping if you don't find it here i'll show you how to set it up because i think they have yes so you have it here free to install click on it and then click add that should install for you it will ask you to create an account and then you can just follow the steps and it will redirect you back okay so my uh, sign up was successful so I'll go back to Shopify and then on the apps I'll just reload and you should have CJ dropshipping here now the other app we want to install now will be DSS DSERS do a quick search for that come here okay it's a bit hard to find that uh, let's search again come back to that so once you have CJ dropshipping installed you want to click on CJ dropshipping it will open up in a new tab and then you sign in and you should have a dashboard like this So because this video might be long, I'm going to break it into two or three parts so that it, it doesn't become overwhelming for everyone. So I'm going to show you how to import products. Now before you import a product, there are a few things you need to know. So you want to set up your store or usually pick what we call a niche or a niche within which to sell. Now what's a niche or a niche? It's just basically a group or a collection of things that has a passionate group of people within that uh, collection you know so we can have a niche of people who are interested in fishing we can have a niche of people who are interested in cooking we can have a niche of people who are interested in uh, or a niche that's focused on household appliances or a niche that's focused on uh, well-being and fitness you understand so you want to pick niches or products within niches so that it's easier to target the people within those niche and sometimes browsing through websites like this help you figure out some of the niches that are available here so what you want to do is to click on CJ dropshipping and then over here you have categories right but sometimes within those categories you can find niches that you can work with now one thing we want to do is to make sure that our shop is linked properly to CJ dropshipping now, CJ Dropshipping is a platform that allows you, unlike AliExpress, they have various uh, warehouses around the world. So when you purchase products from them, they're able to ship to your customers much faster compared to AliExpress. So you want to come to authorization, click on Shopify. We're just going to make sure that our site is linked before we go ahead and do anything. So over here you can see that it's linked and it's activated. So now you want to go back to CJ Dropshipping by clicking on CJ Dropshipping. And because my store is in the home niche, I want to go straight to home and garden, click on it. I'm going to browse through a little and see if I find anything interesting. Now if I find anything interesting, I'll just need to click on list or add to queue.
So one thing you can do is to sort by the warehouse of the country that you intend to target your market into. So in this case, I'm going to choose US warehouse and it will load products that can easily be shipped from the US so that if I decide to sell to US people, which is the largest e-commerce market in the world anyway, it will be easier for me to ship. So I'll fast forward through this section as well. So you can add to queue when you find a product that makes it easier for you to come back later to it and then to list them. So I found a few products I thought were cool. I'm going to add them from CJ Dropshipping and later I'm going to add a few from AliExpress as well, mainly because I'm unable to find them on CJ Dropshipping. So I'm going to click on queue after adding the items to my queue, I'm going to skip this and then I'm going to select all the the items here and I'm going to go up and click on start listing and I'm going to select my store in the drop down I'm going to make sure I'm charging tax product type I can add new so I can add home confirm and confirm and then over here select home and then collections you want to select home page collection I'll create more collections later shipping method you want to make sure that uh, for now we'll go with USPS later on we would come back and then figure out a much better shipping option okay great so it will take some time but then it's going to import them to our Shopify store Okay, so that's done. So if you come back to your Shopify store now, you click on products. You can now see all the products that you've imported. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video here. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to design your site like we talked about in our list. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to design your website like we talked about in the list. The first was the products, the next was the design. Thanks so much and if you haven't subscribed, please do well to subscribe and then catch you guys in the next one.